So, what is the Minecraft panorama? It's the main menu background image that slowly rotates to the right. These menu panoramas get changed every Minecraft drop or update. And you can create your own panorama with some changes that were added in Minecraft 1.21.9. Let's start this tutorial by heading over to the Vanilla Tweaks website. Here we can pick a resource pack with a custom panorama. This will save you the headache of having to build your own resource pack from scratch. So you won't have to figure out where all the files go and what they need to be named. So on Vanilla Tweaks, navigate down to GUI and then into the menu panoramas. As you can see, Vanilla Tweaks has all the panorama from previous updates, as well as others that you might be interested in. There is also a subcategory for all of my Hermitcraft bases. And you saw it in the intro of this video, my season 10 panorama has now been added to the website. So let's go ahead, select that, click the download button and save this resource pack for later. You're here to create your own menu panorama and we need the resource pack to do that, but we also need to use the Minecraft launcher. Inside the Minecraft launcher, we will need to go to installations and I highly recommend creating a new installation from scratch. If something goes wrong, you don't want it messing with your existing Minecraft worlds, right? So I created this one called Panorama. I'm using 1.21.10. This also works with 1.21.9. And to get this thing ready, we need to use more options down the bottom here. We need to add two flags to the very end of our JVM arguments. You're going to paste these in and you can find what we're pasting in the description box down below. But the important thing is to make sure that there is a space here before you paste in the arguments. So yeah, make sure there is a space before the dash of the first flag. All right, now you can go ahead and save this instance and launch it. Just so it's clear, we are now using the unsupported and potentially unstable debug features added in 25W37A. That is why I instructed you to create a new instance. So we're gonna have to create a new world and if you planned on taking this panorama in an existing world, make a copy of it, bring that copy over to where these worlds are saved. For this video though, I'm actually gonna join a server with a really cool build at the lobby. So now we're ready to create our panorama. You obviously need to go and pick a spot and it doesn't matter what direction you're looking in in terms of up or down, but the way that you're facing is the first thing you'll see when you load your game and the panorama starts rotating to the right. The panorama also isn't going to capture all of this extra text on your screen or your hotbar at the bottom. So don't worry about that. When you're ready to take your panorama, press Control and F2. And then you'll see screenshots saved as snapshots. When you click here, it's going to open a folder on your computer. Inside of this folder, you're gonna find all of the images of the panorama correctly positioned, with the correct size and the correct naming. We wanna take these files and move them into that resource pack that we saved earlier. So go ahead and locate that file and open it up with a program for looking inside the zip file. And unfortunately, 7-Zip is yet to introduce dark mode. But inside of here, we can simply navigate through assets, Minecraft, textures, GUI, title, background, and there's the existing panorama images. So now I'm gonna drag these images into the zip folder, which will overwrite them. We just have to go ahead and confirm that. And now our resource pack is ready to go. However, I will say if you come back to these files here and you wanna change the pack PNG or the pack MC meta, that will allow you to change the name that appears here and the icon too. Anyway, let's go ahead and equip this resource pack. And here it is in action. The menu panorama is active. We have successfully created this resource pack. And yes, I've sped up the footage so you can get a feel for the whole panorama the whole way around. So now you know how it's done. Once you've made your menu panorama, come back and comment and let me know if it went okay or not. Hopefully not. <laughs> Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more Minecraft tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon in another. Bye-bye.